All right, we are here with Daryl Morey. Now, need I introduce him anymore? General Manager, Houston Rockets. But to me personally, conference chair of this whole thing. This started seven years ago as a brainchild of Daryl. And Dar Jessica. And Jessica as well, which we'll get on later. Daryl, did you ever imagine seven years ago this would be as big as this is? No, I mean, I think you you work hard and you never know how it's going to turn out. And uh, I think, you know, really it's grown because it worked. It really helps make you make better decisions. Yeah, Do you, you've almost become the poster child, at least in the NBA, if, if not greater sports, of the role of analytics. Describe to you when, when this first kind of hits you. Wait a minute, that we could be approaching sports in a very different way. When I was in like second grade, <laughs> I mean, so reading Bill James, I mean, it was so exciting. I was a big baseball, basketball, football, all the Cleveland sports, and I just always felt like, you know, man, we could do this better yeah. and. Uh, you never know when you're young, but uh, it turns out, you know, Bill and other pioneers, you know, Billy Bean and Sandy Alderson all, all made it all made it true, and it was that first start in baseball that opened up doors in basketball. Can you can you talk a little bit about the evolution of this conference? Yeah, I mean, um, it was a class at MIT. I was teaching uh, with Jessica, and when I got the job in Houston, the owner very smartly said. But you can't fly back to Boston like 10 times. <laughs> <laughs> I need you here. So uh, yeah, that's true. But what about one weekend? He said, yeah, one weekend would be fine. So otherwise, I don't know if we would have ever done it. So it yeah. was uh, pretty amazing that, uh, that it's turned into what it is. Yeah. Talk a little bit about how you can, you know, obviously co-chair, and then, oh, yeah, your side job, general manager of the Houston Rockets, who had a game last night. How do you balance all this? I mean, we want to get some of the behind-the-scenes stuff. Well, let's be clear. This is my side job. <laughs> I mean, my main job is, is, you know, winning basketball games and getting us back into title contention. And, you know, you know, obviously, even yesterday, we were talking to a couple of new free agents that got on the market yesterday. So, um, yeah, so it's... Uh, you know, that's 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 my job number one and this is my labor of love and I couldn't do it without the MIT students like you man <laughs> I try uh, you, you made headlines uh, earlier this year at the beginning of the season with with Jeremy Lin who was my favorite basketball player walk us through a little bit and you know we, we've read all about it but I'd love to hear from you directly chop some of the the reasoning you did with this contract which was very innovative yeah I mean we wouldn't have gotten him otherwise him or Omer Ashik we did the same thing which was create a contract that uh, had some unique things where it was very hard for the teams to keep them uh, but if we if we got them the, the the contract looked a lot better so it was sort of a bit of a loophole in the CBA that uh, we were lucky enough uh, we could take advantage of there's a you, you've got a two-headed monster in Jalen and, and 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 Harden, there's a there's a common you know myth, just a words out there that currently it's it's their three-headed monster started by with, with Garnett and those guys in 2008. You got the guys down in Miami. Where do you see ba is that what you view basketball as right now, or and where do you see that going? I mean, three is better than two, but I, we can win the title with two. Um, it's been done. Uh, no one's done it with zero, which is where we were at. <laughs> um, so we're at one now. We feel like we can build around Harden. We got a bunch of young players we think can take a step forward and be a number two guy. You know, Jeremy Lin, Chandler Parsons, Omar Ashik, Thomas Robinson. You know, up and down the roster, we got young players who we think can take a step forward and, and be a number two guy. But we're not counting on it. We've got cap room to add a guy, max room, and, and we also, you know, if needed, do a trade. But we're trying to build more internally now. We may have had a lot of transition, and you know, we're going to try and build more internally now that we got our guys going forward. Um, I want to bring him back to the conference, Daryl. I mean, you, you're probably the biggest celebrity here in, in Daryl. And you constantly get asked one question. I want to ask the, and make sure the Google Hangout folks get to see this too. If I'm a student and I want to get into sports, what do I do? Pray. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so hard. Um, I, I, the, the, the advice I give is very generic but true, which is like you have to differentiate yourself in some way. One example I give is... You know, we hired a guy who knew Mandarin, and and like, and that was his edge. You need some edge. Obviously, going to a top school, get, you got to get out of the resume pile. Going to a top school helps, but not everyone can do that. Write a paper, win the research competition, do something innovative with genetics. You got to do something that you know, work in minor leagues, something that makes you look different from. And it can't be I work for free. It can't be. It's got to be like I've got an edge that makes you interesting relative to someone else, because. You know, right now we're, we, we're, we're humble that we have the luxury of, you know, having our pick of people, really. Mm -hmm. 
what are what are some of the oddest requests you received during this weekend? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, we're, I'll work for free is a big one, and, and people can't understand why we turn that down. But I, I can promise you, it's because, you know, there's, you know, we, we like paying people, you know, like good people, like, and <laughs> like, it, you know, we want there to be a relationship. And that's that's part of it, and uh, you know, working for free means they can leave for free too, so that that doesn't work. So. Um, so that that's why that's not an edge. So yeah, we're I'll, I'll work for free is probably the biggest request I get. <laughs> Which I will, Daryl. By the way, um, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I got the suit. La last last question for you. Uh, hey, when you're it's making me look bad here. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty sweet. Right well, now. not all of us are general managers. Um, <laughs> last question for you today. Um, combining what you do as a general manager and. Uh, what I call you the godfather of, of sports analytics in the, in the modern day anyway. That's Bill James. That's Bill James, and I'm talking about this new generation. Oh, okay. When it's all said and done 10, 15 years from now, what do you? What would you want your legacy to be known as? Well, I definitely want to win the title. <laughs> like, I want something that says, like, hey, th this is working. Uh, obviously, in other sports, we've had a lot of great examples of analytics teams winning the title. Uh, I would really like to have it in basketball. And I think I hope people would think, you know, I was a good guy and, and – you know, we all learn from each other. So. Yeah, Daryl. Any last things you want to say to all those watching right now? I love Google. Google is unbelievable. They they did turn me down when there were about 20 people yeah. back in uh, 19, at least 98. I yeah. think I applied. Some 99, somewhere circa in there right. when I was in business school. And <laughs> no one, no one, re they didn't reply to my resume that I sent. So. Uh, <laughs> they feel. I've been rejected five times. So that's why I have the nice suit. <laughs> well, yeah. if it's any consolation. I got rejected by huge business schools. I couldn't get into any sports team for 10 years. Google turned me down. So keep fighting, everybody. There you go. Right, Daryl, thank you so much. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks, awesome. man.